Now, let's talk about magnetization. How do you make a piece of magnetic material become a permanent magnet? Okay, firstly, you can do it by stroking. An unmagnetized steel bar over here, you can see that it's steel bar, is stroked several times with the same pole of a permanent magnet from one end to the other, only in one direction. So, a bit like stroking a cat. You don't stroke it up, down, up, down, up, down. You'll make the cat very angry. Similarly, you use one side only, like for example the North Pole, and you stroke down, across, bring it up. Down, across, bring it up. Down, across, bring it up. Okay? When you do so, the side which you leave, the side which you leave the stroke becomes an opposite pole, which means this north side stroke over, it left, right? This one will become a south pole. And the opposite side will be a north pole. So you can also use two magnets in this way, a bit more complicated, but I guess it may go faster. Um, therefore, you can use a south pole to stroke outwards. And you can see where the south pole lifts off. This side will become a north pole. And for this one, you stroke it in this direction and where the north pole lifts off. This one will become a south pole. The pole produced at the end of the steel bar where the strokes finish is opposite to the stroking pole used. Okay, now this method takes uh, quite a long while and a lot of strokes. Let's say you want to make like a huge amount of mat of um, permanent magnets. Do you do, you do this? Do you like employ a bunch of people to stroke magnets the whole day? Not really. The next way actually uses electrical current to magnetize stuff. And actually it's a faster way. And a steel bar to, magnet to be magnetized is placed in a solenoid. A solenoid is a cylindrical coil of copper wires. Looking at this, this part is the coil. The battery comes through here. This is the, this is the copper wire and it goes around. Okay, it goes around the steel bar. You must loop it around the steel bar in a coil. Okay. Now, then you stick the steel bar into this coil. Doesn't You don't touch the steel bar with the copper wires. Now, put it in a north-south direction. Okay, then you pass the direct current through the solenoid, which is you pass direct current through the coil of wire. This current does not touch the steel bar at all. Okay, it just goes around it and the effect of the current going around the steel bar will magnetize the steel bar interesting okay so you just turn on the current for maybe a few like 10 seconds then you turn it off then once that's done the steel bar will change to unmagnetized into a perfect magnetized magnet so now you can ask, how do we tell the polarity of the magnet? Polarity of the magnet depends on the direction of current. So, when a large direct current is passed through the solenoid, the unmagnetized steel bar will become magnetized due to the strong magnetic field produced. And the poles of the magnet can be determined by the right hand grip rule. Now, this is quite an interesting tactic. <clears throat> Imagine this is your right hand. The solenoid is gripped using the right hand with the fingers pointed in the direction of the current flow of the solenoid. Now, this is the conventional current coming out of the battery, going behind, coming in front, 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 and it comes back down. Okay, now, the right hand, you grip it such that your fingers, can you see this? Your fingers go around the solenoid exactly the same direction as how um, the current is flowing, the conventional current is flowing. So the conventional current is flowing down this way, going over this way. The fingers should also go over, 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 over. And then you can see the fingers hook under, right? So this is just like how the the current is flowing over and hooking under. Flowing over, hooking under. Flowing over, hooking under. Flowing over, hooking under. So your fingers follow the direction of the current flow. Where your thumb points will represent the North Pole.
This method can allow you to tell which side is the north, which side is the south pole. So it must also be noted that you have to use the correct hand. So only the right hand will get you the correct result.